There's two mustaches on the boat today. That's what I'm most impressed with. We got blown out yesterday, it was too windy. It was blowing 20 to 25 knots, so we canceled. Wind dropped down, still a little sea left over, but it's getting beautiful. Should be real nice by this afternoon. First trap, we hooked up. Hoping he stays, marked a nice ball of bait down there, so I think he was in that bait probably feeding. We will see what happens. Usually they are fly fishing, a lot of perma fishing. It's about as far away as you can get from that. Got the Bonita strips down today. You guys are along for the ride. Yeah, if he wants to run on too, just let him run. It could be a little better than I thought, you never know. Oh boy, oh boy. This could be tricky, guys. This could be tricky. We just hooked up to a double. Um, this fish we thought was small, wasn't doing much, but he came up 20 feet from the sinker. He's back down to how much? 400? 405. 405. Holy smokes. He is not happy, guys. He is going back down. We're going to see what happens here. Mike is on the other boat today. He's running the 37. Well, now we're getting the reps in. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Why does yours get to be all electric, Dad? <laughs> now we're marking this fish here. He's down 625 feet. You can see that red line. That's that fish we have on here. And then another one seemed to eat the buoy rod. So a little luck, one to stay on. A lot of luck, both will stay on. No luck, both will get off. Oh. This fish will come up here and jump to you guys to kind of keep your eye open. Okay. He's getting, getting out of dodge. Holy Jesus. Smoke. You guys, this thing could come up airborne out here. Keep your eyes open. He could come up airborne. He is moving. Yeah, this fish is moving, guys. We might have on two big ones. Hang on up. We are in a pickle now. You can only chase one at a time. <laughs> Your one hour update. We've been hooked up for an hour. You know, I, I could have swore that was a small fish. It seems like a nice one on oh, the tip rod. This seems like a big one that ate the buoy rod. You know, it's 9.22, so we're right around an hour now. They took us out deeper, you know, we're in 18.36 now. Heading out there. It's tricky because one's in the back boat by the motors back here. Hanging on. We got the harpoon rigged up just in case. We got this back there. And these guys are tag teaming this one up here. Making slow progress. We haven't seen them yet, but hopefully see them here eventually. Here's a two hour update since we first hooked up. 1020. We're still tight back here. Could be the big one. Still pulling, does not want to give up. And we're still tight on the bow. So it's a double header. And these are good, these are big fish. I don't know how big they are. We have not seen them. We were close on that. We're only 20 from the sinker at one point, but then it went down at 700 feet. And these guys up here have been grinding away, hand cranking. They just don't want to give up. Not even close. Who talked us into this? It's <laughs> a raw deal. It's pretty brutal. <laughs> we got the second dart rigged up. Um, you know, Mike's fishing. They got a big pond for first drift. They're down there about two, three miles from us now. We're running the other boat there, but we got the brand new dart rigged up. I had the spare one, but new stainless tip on it. Just put it together right here. We got that one back there too. We'll see what happens. I'm nervous. Hair's turning grayer. Love to catch both of them. You know, hopefully at least one. But they could cross at any second. If they cross, we could lose them both. Let's see if this is good luck or bad luck. We're approaching a three-hour mark. This is uh, unbelievable. We're still tight back here. We're still hooked up. 273 negative. So we unplugged that reel so we lost the counter. But every time I come back there, it's been within 10 of that. It goes out 50 or 100, gets them up 50, 100, back down, probably laying that thermocline. Same thing up here. We've been grinding away, chopping wood, getting <laughs> inch by inch. Somewhere at the end of this is a swordfish. We want one of them. Pick that boat. Both would be nice. That'd be very nice. Yeah. We need a break. We need a fish on the boat. <laughs> keep cranking, keep cranking, steady. Fish made a move underneath the boat. If the line rubs on the boat, it could break off. Oh, we got the rod around it. Got the lead off. 
It's a tough fish. Two tough fish. No bueno. It's going the wrong way. <laughs> it's going back down, you guys. Got the weight off. I thought we were going to get a shot. He had other plans. Three hours in, he's still running like that. Insane. Over three hours now, three hours, 10 minutes. The other one's been out for three and a half hours. This one ate about 20 minutes later, but it's still taking line and running. Unbelievable. Swordfish are one of the strongest fish in the ocean. Got the dart in him. Hold the rope then. Good fish, guys. Nice fish. Good fish. The streak is alive. Yeah, but it's further than his tail says. Big That's a big one. You have it. That's what it's about right there. Button hold him. Absolutely sick. That one's 90 inches. This other one's coming up now. Hopefully it stays. Yeah, Unbelievable. Two double header giant fish. Mike said he just put one in the boat about 100 pounder. Too. <laughs> Two big swords, you guys. Yeah. Everybody in Cincinnati and uh, Tennessee beating good now. One, two, three. <sighs> Watch your gas there on the text. All right, up. One, two, three. There you go. Keep walking, just walk backwards. Just don't let go of his belt. Keep walking backwards. Nice job, guys. Awesome work. Double header, nice ones. Awesome. Woo, that was exciting. Whew, I think I know where we're going now. We're going home. Big double header, guys. <laughs> yes, Time to play. <laughs> Not a bad day. We don't do that very often, you guys, but uh, we got people to feed. Everybody eating good now. Yeah. <laughs> I made it for breakfast. Nice. <laughs> 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 
I wasn't going to show them uh, unless we caught the fish. That's the one we didn't catch the third one. Oh, that's why. That's why we like going two to the three. We'll see you back in the dock. There was a tight squeeze here. Somebody parked in between. That took out a water damage slip temporarily to get the fish off the boat. So, we're going to get these fish up there and then we got to start filleting them. What do we got going on here? Some people would call it successive. Some people <laughs> would call it just the right amount. <laughs> Holy moly. Look at this. Yeah, I got a smaller shot. Yeah. Now, usually it's a jinx to do that with that many coolers, but they're going to need a nap because we're feeding Cincinnati, part of Tennessee. Um, I'm going to eat a little bit too. They got the coolers back there, they are ready. Yeah. Let's do it. There you go. Yeah, I'm on. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Hold him right there for a minute. Billy Bob. Yeah. <laughs> Double header. First drop. Keep pulling. Yeah. Wait, this is right. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Perfect. I'd rather have a gloves or something. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Boom down the mic, yo. Yeah, man. <laughs> I love it. Two at one time, yo. Yeah, yeah, man, real proper, we real to, proper. <laughs> we call Mike and help get him off the boat there. They're icing down the Yetis over here. We got ice in there, going to those coolers there. <laughs> the GoPro wasn't working a while ago, but 317 and 238. So uh, absolutely beautiful fish. And Super Bowl is coming up. Super Bowl party is going to be fed. <laughs> we got yeah, lots yeah. of playing to do, so we'll see. We got knives coming out. They just ain't out yet, but give me another few months and hopefully we got our prototypes. Usually we ice the fish when we're out there, but we caught these fish. At the end of the day, we're running home. We're home in 40 minutes. These fish are cold from that water depth, so we didn't ice them, but we're gonna get them on ice right away. You wouldn't want to be out there six, eight hours with no ice, obviously. But you know, 30 minutes, 45 minutes coming home is fine. Here we go. Too comfortable over there. <laughs> oh, look at that. That is a slab Man, of meat. Like if you guys is. put it on your little tables over there, you can cut it, thin it out, or have it up and have it. It looks like a prime rib. Your brother's slacking. What are we going to do with him? He's over there socializing. <laughs> Before. I brought a banana, which is usually bad luck. They brought four giant coolers, which is usually really bad luck. <laughs> but it must have canceled each other out. I think it was the mustaches, so. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. That's half the fish, you guys. You get the point. We'll see you back at home. I don't know how we're cooking this, but we'll cook up a piece or two to feed the girls and uh, go from there. Second fish is peach, light orange. We're getting another. Are you going to eat the eyeball? No. <laughs> Some guys eat it, I wouldn't eat it though. I know somebody that's more than that would. It's a big eyeball. Welcome back to the kitchen. Jamaican Mike's here. He helped unload the big swordfish. Now he's gonna help cook it. And we filleted both those fish. 
The second fish which you shot time lapse for was a peach, you know, so it's like a light pumpkin. Check the color of the meat out there. You can see the orange colored. And this was the first one. So two different colors of meat there. Orange, standard, normal. You can see the fat in there. It's both healthy fish. But we gotta eat this peach. You know that's gonna be good and juicy, so. What yeah, you think, Mike? yeah, that look good. That look good. Yeah, real peach, you know. Oh yeah. yeah Tell me about these mushrooms. What we got here? Oh, so yeah, we, mushrooms. Yeah, we have some mushrooms. I don't know much about the difference with mushrooms. So like we got um all kinds though. That's the. The big one. Big one, yeah. That's the big <laughs> one. <laughs> I, mean, I like these ones, these round ones. I don't know the difference, but we got uh, some different mushrooms here. We got it from um. Tuna cowboy. tuna cowboy, yeah man, big up to the tuna cowboy and his family, you know. He brought us some mushroom that day, same day when Nick caught those fish. Pastache swordfish dish with mushroom, you know? Yeah, and this is gonna and see how it come out. We'll just go experiment. You know? what, what, Boom, what's, bam. The, what's going in the sauce? So I'm gonna make the sauce from scratch. So I got some, you know, regular white cooking wine, some dry cooking wine and the and the, and the capers. Yeah, the capers and some heavy cream, you know? And okay. garlic, olive oil. So yeah, I'm just gonna make up my some I like making my little pasta sauce from scratch, you know? So it's not a rasta pasta, but try colors, you know? Yeah. So sometimes I just don't do too much oil or butter, just a little bit. So we put some little bit of olive oil and a little bit of butter, you know? Because, you know, I don't want to burn the garlic. I don't want to use too much of it, though. It gets, you know, just a little bit. Yeah. It's like yard style, you know, so we're not, we're not doing, we're not going real professional, you know, we just do, we just cook, we just uh, cook up something. We're just like with the home cooking up something, you know. In Jamaica, when your friends them get together and cook food, we say we're running a boat. I don't know where it come from. I don't know where that talk come from, but, you know, like Nick is a fisherman, he, he deal with boat every day, so now we are running a boat. Meaning like we're just cooking up a little something to eat, I run a boat, you know. Oh, yeah. Good. yeah, man, so I turned up back with good Nick. And then you see one cigar like that, because I don't want the garlic for burn or anything. And then we just add some wine in it, you know. Not too much still, you know, that's a little easy going thing, you know. Yeah, it's good, not too much, you know. So I'm gonna make that boil up a little bit, and then we'll put the every cream. And then it'll boil right down, and then it'll make a nice little thick sauce. Add some of that in there. Nice. That's good, because I'm not making a lot of sauce, that's enough. <laughs> oh my god. Nick, hold on, hold on. Let me get let me get this out of the way. Let me get this out of the way. I know, right? It's funny, you catch that one. <laughs> that one. Yo. This is the second time it happened. <laughs> Yo. It happened right twice now. It happened five minutes ago and we were laughing about it. Alright, this time we gotta watch it, Nick. We say that every time. This is why Sarah doesn't like us cooking in the kitchen. You know, she, a good good thing she's not here. <laughs> good thing she's not here right now. <laughs> yep, she won't see that till the video's out. It's some black pepper, you know. Yeah, I mean, garlic powder, you know. And you just put it on the fish. And so I do it one time, Nick. I got a, little, a piece from it one time when you bring in a swordfish one time. I took a piece. And then um, I put a little bit on the grill, not for too long. But this is the way I season it, and I like how it tastes, Nick. He had a nice flavor, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so. All right, so let's look at season on it. And we're going to throw this on the grill on you ready, Nick. Just for, you know, not even for too long. Yeah, so this bubbling up again. Let me stir him up. Yeah. It's just got to boil right down. It won't be too long. So once you stir it, will settle, you know? So we got the mushroom, you know? Cut them up real nice like that. Bubble like Jamaican bubblers, you know? Them girls, Jamaican girls will bubble. Yeah. Jamaican girls have no matter, but <laughs> you don't have to put that in, Nick. No, we leave it in there. Hey, <laughs> yeah, man. So that's a bubble, you know? For real, that's a bubble, that's a bubble. So I'm gonna have some color pasta, you know? So that's a boil up. We put the salt on the oil already. Boom, bam. Yeah, man. Big up, big up to the tuna cowboys, you know? Yeah, see, we're cooking up a mushroom right now. Straight, I like mushroom too, they're good for you. Yeah, I see. You wanna try Jamaican likes cooking? Very cool. All right, very beautiful. Yeah. So did you make that? Yeah. Did you do it? You did. Can we it's tell everybody good. hi. Say hi. Come on. <laughs> Is Claire hitting you with that bucket? Claire. <laughs> hi, Claire. <laughs> Actually hitting me. Oh, you get him, get him. So don't know that. Yeah, look at that yuck sink. So mushroom, do you want it? No. Proper. 
Lord of mercy. Oh, Here I come with love and not hatred. Bop, 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 bop. What's up, Andrew? Dennis Emmanuel Brown. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, man, I'm good. Good, man. Yeah, man. For real. I better sing your song. I, I love it. I love it. You know your reggae, man. She's so cute. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah already know, Nick. Yeah, let me see. I don't want to mess with it too much, but let me just make sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is good. It's moist and soft. You can't cook swordfish for too long. You can't cook swordfish for too long. See that, Nick? It's nice. It's moist. Yeah, that's it. It's ready. Good to go. Yeah, man. Good to go. It's going to go into pieces. It's okay. Do we know it's done? Yeah, man. Ah, uh, you see it? That's how you know it's done. You know? For real. Straight. Yeah. Done, 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 done. No Try pepper. No, no pepper. pepper. No pepper. <laughs> For sure. And tell me what you think before we put it in the pasta. Mm. It was that peachy fish. Yeah. Is it hot? No. Is it juicy? Yeah, it's like butter melts in your mouth. Really yeah. good, right? Really good. I know this is that with the swordfish. When you put the swordfish on the grill, don't turn your back. Let's put it together. Here's the sauce. You know? I'm thinking might as well just try to combine it right now. You know? Put some pasta in there. I'm gonna put some for now. Yeah. And then uh, yeah. For real. Mm. Nah. This is how I'm gonna make my swordfish, man. I'll tell you, Sarah. I, one time I don't like this. I like this. You like it? Good dish. She's going back for seconds. I want to see if the kids like it. I know it's good. Oh, it's approved. She ate the whole piece. It's, you know, kids don't like when it comes to food. It's they baby go, approved. They go. They go. <laughs> it was not good. <laughs> And if you're wondering, we're just giving her a little bit. We're not giving her a ton of swordfish because we know that there's definitely higher levels of mercury in this than some other fish, but moderation is key, so a little bit ain't gonna hurt her. And this is, you know, it's like a light pumpkin, light orange, like a strong peach, just fatty, juicy, and certain fish just taste better than others too when you fillet them. And I mean, just look how this cuts apart there. Yeah. So soft. You can see all the juice. Yeah, oh yeah. So juicy. Full of juice there. Beautiful. Very important. Very important, when you guys cook your swordfish, not for long. Make sure it's juicy. Don't, if it dry out, you lose. Look at that, wow. Yeah, that's enough, right? See how juicy it is? I like it, very good. I like it a lot. I like it, I like, it's the first time I come combine fish with pasta or, you know, like this, but I think it's pretty good. I, I, to me, I like it, I do like it. It tastes good. It's, it's a good dinner, awesome. for real. Good job. Yeah. Sarah, you. what do you think? It's really good. We got it all. We got swordfish, we got mushrooms, we got pasta. Delicious. Good job, Mike. Thank you. Very good. Mm -hmm. That sauce is like, that cream, it's like a Alfredo, huh? Mm -hmm. Almost. Mm -hmm. Definitely, that's my, that's my homemade Alfredo. I like to make it like that, it's simple. But I like that. I don't like to buy it, so I like to make my own. And I like Alfredo the most, so then. Well, we're gonna get back to eating dinner. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Hit that like button, make sure to subscribe. If you want any merch, check out the website, standsfishing.com. Shirts are up, hats are up, buffs are up. And uh, we got pants and shorts coming very soon. So, that's all I got for you. Mike, good job. Yeah, man, you know, respect. And I don't really answer the comments and stuff, but I love the comments, they're good. I read them and much respect, big up, one love, you know? Blessings. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by the marina. We'll see you guys next time. Say bye. Claire, say bye. Welcome to the broad minded. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got it. Let's take a still frame from that, it'll be good. Okay. It's time to go home and clean fish. <laughs>